Hi guys, in this video I'll present you the AP326 sensor that I got from IC station. Actually it's a breakout board for the AP326 sensor. This little module is an ambient light sensor or ALS and the proximity sensor or PS. It connects over the I2C bus. Here it has serial clock and serial data. It also has an interrupt output pin that can be used to tell the microcontroller when the new data is ready. But I will just use a delay to wait for the new data. I already soldered the pins and now I'll plug it into a breadboard. Here are the four wires I used to connect it. The blue wire is ground, the red wire is plus 3.3 volts, gray is serial clock and green is serial data. And the resistor from the right is a 240 ohm resistor for biasing the infrared LED of the sensor. Now here is the Arduino you know with the wires connected to it. The red wire is connected to plus 3.3 volts. Do not connect it to 5 volts or you can destroy the sensor. The green and grey wires are connected to the I2C bus, which is on pins A4 and A5 on the Arduino Uno. So now I will plug in the USB cable to the Arduino. And here I have an USB adapter. It's a normal USB to micro USB. I got it from a USB flash drive. Now I'll plug it to my Android tablet and open the Roborimo app. This is the Roborimo interface I already built for controlling the sensor. Here I have three buttons, ALS start, PS start and stop. I have two plots for displaying the live values from the ALS and PS. I also have some buttons here for configuring some registers, like ALS range, pulse count for the infrared LED and PS integration time and gain. And here I have a text log for displaying the feedback like value that was written or read from a register. Ok, now I will connect to the USB, choose the baud rate and press OK. And I will start the ambient light sensor. And you see the plot started to move. Now if I shadow the sensor you see the ALS value becomes zero. And if I light the sensor with a flashlight the ALS value gets very high. Now the ambient light value is about 74 but if I change the ALS range it gets to 300. And if I light it now with the flashlight it gets saturated. Now if I choose another range, the ALS gets even more sensitive. This is the maximum value on 16 bits. And now if I shadow the sensor, it does not get to zero, because there is still some light reaching the sensor. So that is the ALS. Now let's see the PS, which is proximity sensor. It measures how close is an object to the sensor. So you see, if I put my hand near to it, the value increases. If I decrease the integration time, the value gets lower. Now if I decrease the number of LED pulses, the value gets even lower. So you can choose different settings depending on the application. Here I put the sensor to look to the right. And as you can see it detects my hand from about 5 cm. But it has an offset value because I put it too close to the white paper and some light gets reflected from the paper. And one more test with different color objects. 
here I have a grey object. From 3 cm the sensor already gets saturated. From 3.5 it's almost maximum value. But if I replace it with a black object, you see the object is still detected but the PS value is much smaller. But if I pull the object closer the value increases. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Big thanks to IC Station for providing the AP316 sensor. Also check the links in the description. There you can find the project details including the Arduino code and Roborimo interfaces. And also a link where you can buy the AP316 sensor from IC Station. Thank you.